everybody, welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network, my name is Zira, and today we are playing Assassin's Creed Liberation once again. So, we have found our way to this part of the city after um, chasing a guard person, and we, you know, sort of lost him, he's in the fort. And we're gonna, while we're right here, take a quick look at these weapons and see if there's anything super special here that we absolutely can't live without. Mm, that looks mean. An obsidian axe. Three plus three damage. Whew, that's expensive. The Cholmarad, a cutlass, and a machete. I kind of want the machete because it looks mean, and I like it. But I think eventually we're going to buy, like, this obsidian axe. Um, and what do we have? These are all really expensive. What about pistols? So dual pocket pistol... Ooh, a pepper box pistol. Now, the question is, does the pepper box pistol shoot all of its stuff at once? Holy, 100,000 money. All right. That's ridiculous. Um, it is a Capitan. He's just pushing people out of the way. Um, so, we're going to just go through and, I guess, begin this mission. We're going to end the recruiter's dishonest dealings. And we must locate the recruiter and remain undetected. So, I'm going to do some stuff and fly across the opening. And we have something there. I don't know what that is, but it looks like it, there's explosives. Oh, actually, you know what that is? That little star thing? That's a guy who wants to riot. And he's looking for any excuse to riot. So maybe we can give him one. Hmm. That would definitely give us a little bit of cover while we sort of investigate where this recruiter is, wouldn't it? All right, so what's going on here? We have our map taken care of. There's some treasure. Maybe we can get a diary page while we're here. Not that I'm gonna, you know, take the time to go through and get all of them. But we do almost have the map filled out. We got, we got one, two, three, four and five viewpoints left so we'll probably try to hit all of the viewpoints at very least now i feel like we don't really want to just jump in that hay right there although maybe because i mean there's that one guard there where there's two guards and there's like one right below us so, maybe it wouldn't be that bad for us to do that. Um, I do feel like it's going to be easier in the long run, though, if I just kind of, like, jump across back onto the roof. So, let's wait for this guy to move along. Right there. And we'll pop our way back over here. Now. There's somebody up, like, on the other side. Right there. Um, so, can I see the recruiter from here? Oh, gunfire. Oh, you know what? I bet there's some guards practicing down below. 
Alright, we got two guards on this roof. Yeah, there's someone practicing. Bam. Okay, so we got one of them. And we'll, like, hide up here. And we're gonna wait until this guard comes back through. And we can probably draw his attention with the body. Like, I, I assume he's gonna run straight to it. It's gotta be in his range. Yeah, here he is. He's moving. He sees it. Or does he? I think he sees it. Oh, yep, he sees it. I... Hey, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that, is that my target? It is my target. Alright. So use a powder keg to assassinate him. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, maybe it's Maybe it's too late. Alright, let's kind of hydrate here. Um, can I hit this from here? It does highlight from here. So I'm going to set myself up to use this. And... Really? Absolutely nobody thought that was weird? That a powder, a powder cake just exploded killing one of their commanding officers? I, I feel like that's very unreasonable. Hello. Uh-oh. 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 They see me. And he's confused and sliding down the roof and that's fine we're in the clear it's all good no one cares hey man how's it going see you dude all right where's this recruiter guy ah hmm how can i what are you guys doing? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So they're doing a little dance with each other. And then there's this guy who's just standing there looking at the recruiter. And then we've got those guys who are... Oh! Oh! Oh no, that's... That guy's still standing there looking at the recruiter. Um... Hmm... So, we need to employ some of this berserk stuff, I feel. Magic. And then, let's get our poison dart. And that guy's berserk. So, since he's berserk, let's take care of that guy. And... Maybe that guard can... Oh, oh, there's a lot more of them now. And those guys just spawned in, and we're in trouble.
but I think it's fine. I think he will eventually turn around for me. Yes, he's turned around. And now that he's turned around, I can run right up to him and pop. Gotcha. And we will get this diary page. Where, like, like how a random diary page from our long-lost mother got up here, I have no idea. Senor, perhaps you underestimate the vast, winding expanse of the bayou. I will repeat, I need enough men to control all of it. Recruit the entire Spanish army if you must. Yours in absolute discretion. Vasquez. 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 De Ferrer mentioned him in Chichen Itza. Is he the company man? I must I... warn Agate and the smugglers. Oh dear. Okay, so we got full sync on this one. It's amazing. What is that? There's a new icon on the map. Uh, right here. It is detective. Okay. That seems like a mission that I don't really want to do. Ship crew. What does ship crew do? Huh. I have no idea what that is. Um, so we are going back to the bayou. So we should probably probably stop by the headquarters do some lucrative trading business rival oh yeah we could also go through and check our weapons and stuff to make sure that oh, we don't own that one which one do we own rivals I could have sworn we owned one of these hmm. anyway we're going to go back to the headquarters, check on our money from our ships, and then we'll go here and fast travel to the bayou. All right. Maybe we should change into our assassin garb also while we are at the headquarters. Yeah, I think I'll probably do that. Although, the slave outfit is acceptable for use in the bayou. Ah. Uh, can I change clothes in the bayou, though? I think I can, but I might have to, like, buy um, a dressing chamber. Alright, so, we will interact with this place here. All of our stuff are at Veracruz, so we can buy some... Oh, it's not oil, it's pitch. Buy, buy the maximum amount, amount of this pitch, and we shall send it to here. And again, we will buy the maximum amount of pitch, and send it to here. And buy some more pitch. Because you can you can never have too much pitch. <laughs> and we'll send it over to here. And ah, uh, we're doubling our money, and it's not taking that long. But uh, excuse me, tripling our money, and it's not Did I just buy fruit? I did just buy fruit. Of course, I brought f bought fruit. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do that and send that there and buy some fruit, uh, sell some fruit. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna buy a brand new ship. Um, that'll give us three thousand, five thousand money left over. We will buy a bark the Endeavor, and we will buy some steel. Perfect. And then we can send that to Port-au-Prince. And tw 25 minutes. That is a long time, especially if I hit 
those, but I feel like it could be worth it. Like, we could make our money back off that. Um, 170, what, what do you want? Or what do you provide? You provide peppers and oranges, and this place wants peppers and oranges. Okay. And then you provide cotton. Oh, that's right. And the cotton sells for a lot over here. Yeah, so the cotton... I should... Hmm. So, new plan next time around. I am going to take my barks from over here. And instead of buying pitch, uh, let's buy some cotton for 270. And I'm just going to send my bargs with cotton over to Seville and sell it for a lot. It's going to take like 40 minutes, but that'll be for the first time. And then I can get like three ships going in a good, you know, clip here. And we can just go from Seville to Port-au-Prince to Bridgetown, etc. Um, did one of my ships make it? Yes, one of my ships did make it. Interesting. So... So what do I want to do with these? Can I... How much does this ship sell for? Okay, it sells for 5,000. Hmm. So... But that's the fast ships. So we will buy, uh, I think it's cotton, cotton from here, and sell the cotton over here. Yes. Okay. Okay. Understood. So we buy some cotton, and send the ship to Veracruz, and then we can come here and buy some more cotton. And we'll keep both of our faster ships moving around inside the uh, inside the Gulf of Mexico here. And how long are these ships out for? Three minutes. Okay, so I don't want to wait for three minutes because that's you know that's a long long wait. Um, so we'll just continue. We will go over here and change our clothes to the assassin clothes. Because right here, the assassin is better suited for fighting and such. Alright. Now we need to make our way to the bayou. Oh, no one's going to do that this time. Alright. Um, now, our ship that we must take is right over there. And I can't remember. There are, like, there are like guards down below me, but this area is fine. Ooh, does the assassin get to use the whip? Yes, the assassin can use the whip. Perfect. Travel me to the bayou, man. All right, after discovering a plot to force her mentor out of hiding, Aveline journeys to the bayou, determined to win back Agate's trust and refusing to give up on the Brotherhood. Now, that's an interesting thought. Her mother, Aveline's mother, was talking about how she can't believe Aveline joined with the assassins. Oh boy, I have a lot of notoriety for some reason. Um, so she can't believe that Aveline joined with the assassins, and that, uh, it is going to cost you know, you. that Agate wanted to kill Aveline's mother for some reason. <gasps> why? Why would Aveline's? Why would Aveline's 
No. Why would Agate want Aveline's money? Mother dead. Like, what could possibly be going on there? The other thing is, her mother knowingly left her with uh, her stepmother, Madeline. So what's that all about? Alright. Sorry, I was just uh, wasting some time while I pickpocketed these guys. Alright. Hmm. Now we can continue with our mission, I think. Get up, get up there, Evelyn. Yay, tree climbing! What is this random building just sitting over here? Um. Yeah, we're definitely heading over to Agate's house. We're gonna cook some uh, swamp things on a fire and tell campfire stories and have a wonderful time. I feel like it doesn't work like that, but, you know, it, it's a nice thought. Alright. Where are we even going? I don't remember the way to a Gate's house being like this. But then again, I am coming from a weird direction here. Oh. I apparently cannot climb that one. Let's just kind of take a swim in the nasty bog water. Ooh, some of our ships must have made it somewhere, because we suddenly have 8,000 money. Uh -huh. Yes. So there's Agate's house, and now we can just kind of climb up here like this. Oh boy, I feel like this is not going to be a good idea just strolling in here. Use the superstitions of the weak against them. Power of voodoo. Who do? You do. Do what? Points. Find a gate within one minute. Alright. So... He's running this way, and we're using our mysterious um, animus powers to find him. There he is. Oh, that's actually him. Interesting. Agate. Who? Who are you? You look like a faithful student I had once, long ago. She no longer exists. Mentor, I know you have doubted me. But please, my absence has not been in vain. Look what I found. You should have left it where it lay. Do you have any idea of its purpose or power? I was hoping you could enlighten. Had you not insisted on dredging it up, no one would need to know. Remove it from my sight. Bury it and forget the spot. Grind it into powder. Plant it under an alligator nest. Let me never lay eyes on it again. Hmm. Very well. I had thought you would accept it as confirmation of my loyalty. My... Someone told me you were looking for it. You should not allow gossip to infect your mind. Now be gone. Not before I warn you, Mentor. You are not safe here. Have I not been telling you this for years? Useless child. This threat is new and very real. A man, Vasquez. I am aware. He bribes Spanish troops. But I already have plans to outwit them. I will use their superstition against them. Let me help. I know I cannot stop you. You will see. My loyalty is real. Very well. Listen closely. See if you can follow this plan. I have planted signs which our dear European friends find terrifying. If you are able to follow the instructions, you may tail them from sign to sign and eliminate them silently, 
giving the appearance of a voodoo curse. Boo! And then? A curse may frighten them, but will it be enough to stop the flow of new recruits? More questions. I thought you were here to help. Ah, silence at last. Go now before you spoil this moment. Okay. I don't like it, Gate. Find a safe vantage point and wait for the patrol. Okay. So, Agate, I don't know, he seems like he's not... What is going on? I am stuck. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Agate seems like he doesn't have patience and doesn't really care and... I don't know. Maybe there's a reason for it. Um, but... It, it, ma it makes it seem... It's also really weird how, like, the story's playing out. Like, it's making it seem like the assassins and Agate are the ones who are wrong, who are evil in this game. So, maybe that has something to do with it. We need to get up into the trees. Oh, Aveline, you... That's not where I wanted you to jump. <laughs> I, I wanted you to jump up into the tree, which is why I thought I pointed towards the tree. There we go. Okay, so we're in the trees. And now we jump into the water. Eveline, what is wrong with you? Okay. I think from this split tree here, we might be able to make our way up. Yes. Yes, here we are. We're, we're waiting. The troops are... right there. Look! It's... it's... Uh, it's... How childish can you be? It is nothing. What are you doing? What do you think? I'm removing it. You can't! We'll be cursed! Oh, we'll be cursed. Truly, I'm terrified. Use fast poison to kill the guard. Okay. I like how they always grab for their neck and then they just fall over. It's just like, <gasps> done. It's true. Oh no, it's true. <laughs> Move out! It's not safe here. So I need to follow the patrol. I feel like we should just, you know, shoot a couple more of them right now. Oh, they're gathered. They're just still gathered around. Yeah, I really, I really think we should shoot a couple of them and just, you know, make them believe, like, right off the bat that, hey, you're cursed and stuff. Um, so, next, what, do we have another thing right there? Yes, another sign right there. Can I reach them from here with my poison? Is that it? Any more stragglers? No. Oh, you can see my shadow on the ground and they just Dio ignored Santo. it. More voodoo. Deserter! Come back! I will have you killed, Marshal! Oh! Oh, he's gonna shoot him? And I think he missed. Keep moving, man! And this time, keep your eyes open and wait about or you! Or not. May God watch over us. <laughs> so, we need to just follow the patrol unnoticed. Good thing for us, they never look up. Because we're in the trees, so we're safe. <laughs> I think this way will take us where we need to go. Maybe. 
No, I th let's go back over here and we can get across to this tree and from there to this tree and we'll just get over to like this platform. That seems like a good place as any. As good a place as any. Where'd the rest of them go? Oh. They're just stragglers. <laughs> Alright, so now we're getting this big brute guy here. It's cool that they reach for the approximate spot that I shot them in. Alright, so we have completed this mission, and now we need to go somewhere. Are we going to talk with Elise and Russo? Yes, that's what it seems. Hmm. Okay, so next time when we return, we will go over here and we will visit our smuggler friends, Elise and Russo, and we will um, warn them about the guy named Vasquez who is planning on doing evil things in the bayou. And yeah. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Assassin's Creed Revel... Uh, wow. Revelations? <laughs> it's been a little bit since Revelations. Why, why did I just say that? I have no clue. Anyway, this is Assassin's Creed Liberations. <laughs> uh, have a wonderful night, everyone.